Assalamu alaikum guys. Islamic divorce is different from Western divorce. And I never knew this. I My whole perception of the divorce was the same thing that perhaps many of you have. But Islamic divorce is completely different. And it's very important that you learn about it and are aware of how it works. <clears throat> so, according to this book, which I always refer to because I only learned this one, Hidaya, um, it says it says inside it, the best uh, divorce is that a man gives a divorce to his wife when she is in her non-menstrual period. Uh, so that's in Arabic, it's called Tuhr, and he did not have intercourse with her. And then he leaves, uh, and he leaves it like that, meaning like he doesn't have intercourse with her or any other sexual relations with her, uh, until her, it's called Idda, period uh, of divorce is completed. This period of divorce is roughly around three months. And after that, the divorce is finalized. So stop and think of what I just said, and that's the Islamic divorce. Now, um, the purpose is, uh, the idda purpose is one of my favorite parts of Islamic divorce, because uh, the period where you're waiting, with, waiting for three months to pass before the divorce is finalized. The reason being is that it helps the husband and wife think through that and uh, decide that this is the best result and outcome for their futures. And... It's three months, pretty much. It's basically for for according to Hanifi Fik, it's three menstrual periods have to pass, which will be like about two to three months. Uh, in that time, the husband still has to live with his wife, and they still have to see each other, and he has to, have to pay for her food and clothes and shelter and everything. It's just he can't do any sort of husband and wife relationships or intimacy uh, during that time, or else that divorce is nullified and it's uh, it's as if he took her back. Um, so. When you give when he gives her a, her a divorce during that three three month period, it's called a revocable divorce. And after that three months period pass, uh, and, and in that time, he can just take her back, and it's the divorce is nullified. And if after three months or after those three menstrual periods pass, according to Vivek, uh, and he did not take her back back, then it's an irrevocable divorce, meaning that the divorce is complete. And if he did wish to get married to her again, he would have to perform nikah all over again. Um, yeah, so basically I love the idda period because that gives the husband and wife a lot of time to really think over what he, what they're doing. It gives the husband a lot of time to think over what, what he's doing and if this is the best outcome for both him and his wife. And I really wanted to just inform you guys about that so that you do take time to do research into Islamic divorce in deeper research into Islamic divorce, like I learned about Islamic, like I've learned about the rights of nikah and uh, and everything from learning about what Islam has to say about divorce. So even if you're not thinking about getting having a divorce or anything like that, I really do encourage um, researching and learning about Islamic divorce. Assalamualaikum.